Hello, my name is Steven from BSJ Lights, and uh, on today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and paste from someone else's sequence to your own sequence to make it like, like a starter thing. Um, so, all you have to do to get started is you're going to open up Not Normal Sequence Editor, which I already have open. Open that up. And this is basically John Storm's sequence from uh, Listen to Our Lights. And this is basically what he has done. This sequence is called Let It Go by India Mazel. And basically what I'm going to try to do is try to give you all a little demonstration of how I can like, copy and paste the sequence so that you can make it look like John Storm's sequence. So, uh, first of all, um, the, my audio is not quite matched up with the um, sequence. Uh, so, what do we have to do is we need to open up a new musical sequence. And we need to search for a, the uh, audio file that we want. Let's just let it go. We go to various artists in 51 and uh, let's see, let's, let's, let's let it go. Any of So we're going to click on that. I have 48 separate channels. So I'm going to change, we'll try out, we'll try out 5. And click on OK. And it should have something like a grid, kind of like this, mostly. And basically what I need to watch for is the timings on both of the sequence to make sure they're all matched. And if they're all matched, that means it's good. But we don't know how the sequence is going to paste on that but with the new grid of our new sequence. So basically what we need to do basically in order for this to be able to fit is that we need to open up the um, the sound sound wave then we need to measure out on how we're gonna get the sequence to match with John Storm's sequence. So, basically what we need to do is we need to search for some separate channels so that it could fit perfectly onto the, to the display and make it timed perfectly with the sequence. Um, basically what you need to do is you need to select a row, like any kind of row you want that's cool with you. And you're going to select that row and you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to select zone you're going to go to rows and then we'll select all across the rows to the end of the sequence so now we got that copied all I have to do now is hit copy hang on basically I'm going to do this one if it doesn't match perfectly with your sequence, you want to like, if you want to make it more efficient to the sequence itself, you can find out where it starts and then you can copy it. So now we have some channels copied from Storms to Sequence. Now what we have to do now is go to my mini page, which is 1 through 9 of the second box. and so now you have to match the waveform to the sequence and we don't know how the sequence is going to turn out so we're going to click on the first row and we're going to select paste and should start to see if the timing to the sequence is right
The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. Okay, so that matched up perfectly with the sequence because that's what we want. Is the only thing that you have to do is you have to go to this tool section over here. You just go down and set paste options and paste by time. That's what you need is paste by time. So I have six channels left, so now I need one, two, and three. And you're going to do the same thing again with the bottom of Storms' trees. So you're going to select down here, one, two, three. You're going to select the, towards the end of the sequence. And then set it at the end of the sequence, and then you just copy again. Come over to your new sequence. Go back to the very beginning. Select the first part of where the audio begins. And then select paste. And there you go. So basically this is what it would look like during throughout the sequence. Basically, I gotta paste more because this is a new sequence I'm making. So basically, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like. Make sure to um, add a comment on what you think and what should I do for the next tutorial. Uh, Make sure to subscribe as well, it always helps me and helps my display a lot. Um, so thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!